All right, time to install this. Aw, oh, she. Angle. There we go. This 30 degree angle. And then push it down, put the screw in. Hello there, Rizzle here. Not only is VR needing a good physical space for you to play, they also need a good hard drive space for games in PC VR. Oculus Asgard's Wrath alone is already at 133 GB and my hard drive currently only has 512 GB SSD drive. I've also been wanting to play Dirt Rally 2 but it needs about 110 GB of space. And heaven left, don't cut, into three right, three left slippy. My Half-Life Alex without any mods is already at 68 GB, so imagine how often I get a warning from my PC to do a cleanup. 512 GB just won't do. So with my limited budget, I search online for a budget NVMe SSD with 1TB space. I know I can get cheaper with a mechanical hard disk drive, but it is really hard to go back once you get to taste SSD loading. Before I continue, I'd appreciate a like and subscription if you haven't yet. So I ended up with getting Kingston NV1 M.2 NVMe 1TB SSD at only $77 or 3,877 pesos including discounts. Add an SSD card. This is the cheapest one in the market now. I got it on sale and planning to install it in my Asus ROG A15 laptop here. Right now, time to remove the screws. There are 11 screws at the back. They are on different sizes, so make sure that you remember where to place them. Okay, one down. Popping the back cover after removing the 11 screws is a little bit tricky as you need to get those plastic hooks. I suggest starting at the middle with your nails then inserting a plastic card and sliding it in the space until you hear those pops which means you got the hook off. with my laptop Asus ROG so as you can see here's the primary SSD uh, 512 one 512 gig and this is where I'll put my new SSD in the 2020 model or the older model of uh, ROG it was located just here now it's angled there you go, as you can see, it's now located here. So that's an interesting position. Well, let's just make sure to remove first the screw that would hold the SSD. There you go, it's loaded. 30 degree angle. There you go. 30 degree angle and then push it down, put the screw in and let it hold. 
done. And now we already have our one gig SSD in at an angle. If you can, uh, if you want to replace your primary SSD, as noted, it's just located here. You can also replace that. Twelve screws in total, and we're done. So, all right. Okay, just need a little push. So the, the hooks, plastic hooks can match or lock. Well, sorry. Asus A15 upgraded for our VR. All right. Once you power it on, check if the hardware is detected at the device manager section. Kingston SSD is detected successfully in the hard drive section. Now go to computer management for you to format the drive. Click on disk management and initialize the detected disks by pressing OK button. Choose MBR if you plan to use it as your primary drive where your Windows or Linux OS will be. But here, I will choose GPT since this is my secondary drive. Right click the new drive and left click the new simple volume where I maximize the full size of my drive D. Formatted it to NTFS and labeled it SSD2 and you are done. Now. Testing the speed using Crystal Disk Mark app resulted to what was expected at 2,214 megabytes per second read, which is 62% slower than my main drive, and 1,698 megabytes per second write speed, which is 31% slower than my main drive. But still, 35 times faster than a mechanical disk drive. I hope this episode helped. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next. Bye bye.